What's up, y'all? I'm out here at the range, as you can see behind me, on another hot summer day. Got this shade tree saving me out here, though, so I'm going to get a few more tests done. And this one right here is going to be a revisit of some 45 ACP. So I got the jelly contraption set up, as usual, with the chrono and two blocks of gel. Now, I've done one test in this stuff so far, and it was actually a 380 test, so I'll leave a link up above if y'all want to check that one out. It got a little closer to the center than I wanted to, so this is going to be a little bit tricky, but I should have plenty of room to get this one squeezed in here and of course i'm staying with my heavy clothing barrier with a layer of denim fleece and two layers of cotton t-shirt material so what we got here is some sierra outdoor master 45 acp 185 grain jacketed hollow point now i have tested these before like i said it's been quite a while and it was through bear gel before i started using my clothing and i actually think it was with this little shorty cold i didn't even go back and look at it but I, as far as i can remember they did pretty well they did got some really nice expansion from what i can remember but again that was with bare gel no cloth involved but if y'all watch my ammo hunt videos you know that bill actually sent me another box of these and i did go back and look at my stock and it is the same exact thing i looked at the projectile no change in that so this will be a really good test here to show you what they do through cloth versus what they did through that bare gel and since i'm almost positive i used this colt the first time we're going to use it again it's the colt 1911 with the three and a half inch barrel and then i'm also going to throw Throw in my full-size rock island here with the five inch barrel so it should be interesting to see what kind of performance these things give us through the cloth let me get it set up and let's find out all right let's see what kind of speeds we're working with y'all and we'll do a five round average from each one starting with this three and a half inch colt first uh if you're not familiar with my lab radar here you're gonna get multiple readings the large number is gonna be your muzzle velocity and then you'll have five smaller ones you'll have three yards seven ten twenty five and fifty so let's see what we get here. Got 939. 969. Got 969 again, it looks like. I'll make sure and check that. That does happen sometimes though. 946. And 981, that's a 75 yarder out there too, so that ain't too bad. Let's check that average out. All right, so our five round average that time from the three and a half inch was 961 feet per second. You had an extreme spread of 42 and a standard deviation of 17.4. So 961 with 185 grain, I mean, it's only a three and a half inch barrel. So I guess that's not too terrible. Let's get it reset and let's see what that five inch can do. All right, let's see what we get with the five inch rock island here. Got 998, 1,043, 1,025. It sure jumped up after that first one, 1,053 and 1042 so that first one was awful slow but the rest of them jumped on up let's check that average all right so that full size got us over a thousand the five round average that time was 1032 and that was even with the low 998 that first one was awful low compared to the rest of them so 1032 average you had an extreme spread of 55 and a standard deviation of 21.7 so 1032 on this one if you remember on that three and a half inch it was 961 so you're talking about seven 71 feet per second faster from that five inch barrel so decent little amount there not a whole lot but probably significant what's that seven eight percent something like that so should be interesting to see what these do in the gel i'm not real confident about that three and a half inch barrel now seeing the speeds and just because we're adding this cloth but maybe i'll be wrong and both of these will do a real good job but well, let me get it reset and y'all know what time it is all right y'all it's what happens if the bad guy ain't naked jelly time i'm gonna put one one round from each barrel length into the gel starting with this three and a half inch colt first as y'all can see i've got the camera backed up a decent little amount because i really don't have that much faith in these things let's see what they'll do here all right that should have been perfect pretty close to that other 380 track but i think it stayed out of it let's go see what we got Thank you. 
Well, I sure enough just got proven wrong with that one right there. That looks like some absolutely fantastic performance. I'm really surprised at how good that looks down there. So this five inch should do really well also since that three and a half did. Let's see what we can get. All right, that should have been an absolute perfect placement. Let's go down there and see what we got. All right, let's take a look at what we got down here, y'all. I'm gonna tell you right now, I am absolutely surprised right here. I am completely shocked that these things perform this well. This right here is some of the better 45 ACP performance that I've seen, period, through anything that I've tested. Y'all know I'm, I'm completely unbiased here. I got no skin in the game from anybody. I've tested these Sierra Outdoors. You know in nine, they are absolutely terrible, and there's a whole little uh, kind of saga that went on with that stuff. If y'all wanna check that out, but I have to tell you right now, these 45 ACP rounds look absolutely terrific. So the first one we got is through the three and a half inch. It's actually right there in the middle of those two existing 380 rounds. I think you can see it pretty clear. Nice disruption on it. Nothing real crazy. None of the little fancy star pattern, the little twirly patterns you get out of some of the expanders. But plenty of disruption here. You can see it immediately expanded. Didn't care anything about that cloth. I think that's really due to that really, really large opening that these things had on it. So came on through here, dumped some cloth out that it did carry with it. And you can see the projectile sitting sideways there and very, very nice expansion and very nice penetration. So really, really nice performance from that one. And then down here on the bottom, this is from the five inch, pretty much more of the same, same type of disruption here. So you can see it immediately started to expand, keeps on trucking through this gel. Now it stopped a little bit shorter of that other one because it expanded more you can already tell without even pulling it here very very nice expansion on that thing you can see the jacket the pedals on it are peeled all the way down to the base down there and still really really nice penetration on it so speaking of the penetration the one up top here from the three and a half inch is all the way out here at 14 inches and then the one down there on the bottom from the five inch is at 12 and three quarters inches so very very nice penetration from both of these especially to have all of that expansion. Here's your little bit closer look from the side since that one there is so close to those 380 rounds. You can see it there, it's in the front and in between those. That was the three and a half inch. Follow it through here and just nasty, nasty expansion on that thing. And then we'll drop on down here to the five inch and you can see that one. You talk about expansion, buddy. That right there has got it. We'll follow it back and very nice disruption from that one also. All right, let's take a look at these projectiles, y'all. This one right here from the three and a half inch, this one from the five inch. This one from the three and a half inch is impressive. Very, very nice expansion, but this one from the five inch just makes this one even look pitiful. I mean, look at the expansion on that thing all the way peeled down to the base there. I mean, that is full expansion right there. Of course, that is out of a full size five inch 1911. So I guess that's what you should get. This one right here out of the three and a half inch, no slouch at all. Plenty of expansion, very, very nice expansion. As a matter of fact, you can see how far down that expanded. And I don't think these lost any material. I don't see a speck of anything in the gel. So these rounds right here got it done, buddy. But let's get some measurements and see what we got. We'll get the weight on them first. They both started at 185. This one out of the three and a half inch is at 184.8. So I would say nothing lost on that one. And then your one out of the five inch here is 185.4. So again, I don't think you lost anything from either one of these. And then as far as the expanded size on them, we'll start with this three and a half inch. You got 648, 629, and 638. So really, really nice expansion on that one there. And then this big boy here out of the five inch, you got 729, 723, and 724. So that right there is absolutely incredibly nice expansion for a 45 ACP. And there you go, y'all, the Sierra Outdoor Master in 45 ACP. Fantastic performance from both of these. There's really nothing else left to say. It did just as well through this heavy clothing as it did in bear gel. That's exactly the kind of performance I like to see. I don't want to have to worry about what kind of clothing, what time of year it is, or any of that nonsense. These 45 ACP rounds right here will get the job done. 
All right, y'all, I'm gonna call that done for another really good 45 ACP test. This one definitely surprised the heck out of me, not because it did bad in the bear jail, but just because the nine did so bad even in the bear jail. I expected this to kind of fall flat on its face when you added this cloth, but it did just as good, if not better, than it did through the bear jail, even after adding this cloth. Another good thing about these is they're priced pretty low, or at least the nine is. I hadn't checked out this 45 lately, but they're, most places are blowing the nine out for super cheap. So if you can get these things at a super good deal like that, it's definitely worth the buy. But let me know what y'all think about the performance from these things out here today. Any of y'all out there carry these Sierra Outdoors in 45 ACP? Based on that first bear gel test that I did, I would have had no problem carrying these things. And it's really good to see that even through the cloth, they got the job done. So let me know down in the comments if y'all do carry these or after seeing this, will you start carrying them? If you did enjoy the video, reach down and hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you should subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything when I upload it. If you're doing some shopping, like I always remind you, check out the affiliate links in the video description. Anything you buy after going through those links down there, I get a kickback from them towards the channel, so that really does help. As always, I appreciate all my Range Gang members and every single one of y'all out there for supporting the channel. I've got a couple more interesting tests planned for out here today, so stay on the lookout for that. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.